Marion Chertow is an industrial ecology pioneer. She leads the field of industrial symbiosis, where companies collaborate to find creative ways to use waste from one company as the raw material for another. In her 30 years of research and teaching, Dr. Chertow has brought awareness of the financial benefits of recovery and reuse to local and international companies and governments, while inspiring the use of innovative systems to benefit the health of our planet. Marin is definitely a trailblazer. She has been the founder and the pioneer behind the field of industrial symbiosis. She's been able to, to be a convener and really push forward the idea that this area of research is important because it is a way to develop effective solutions to some of the problems that we're facing on the planet related to our waste and how we manage our materials and energy. Marion was born in Syracuse, New York in 1955, the third of five children. She was 10 years old when her father, a chemical engineer, ran for city council and lost, and 20 when she ran her mother's election campaign for the county legislature, which they won. And what I learned from that was that politics done right means community. And that's the lesson that I took away from it, that wherever I go, I should be involved in the community because that's part of my responsibility. After graduating from high school, Marion attended Barnard College in New York City. She graduated with a BA degree in religion and literature in 1978. The first job out of my college years was with a recycling company. I was trying to go to communities in Connecticut and figure out how could they enlarge their recycling programs, begin their recycling programs, recycle more. Ms. Chertow went on to attend the School of Organization and Management at Yale University, where she earned a degree in public and private management in 1981. After I finished graduate school, I worked in the city and county of San Francisco about financing waste. I came back to Connecticut and worked as an assistant town manager in Windsor, Connecticut. My next job was actually becoming the head of the bonding authority in Connecticut for waste infrastructure. Marion's leadership in industrial ecology here in the state of Connecticut brought a transformative change when you think about waste recovery. That was Marion Chertow as a practitioner and as a leader of Connecticut's Resource Recovery Authority. It was during this time Marion Chertow married Yale classmate Matthew Nemerson. She later gave birth to their two daughters while continuing to earn a PhD at Yale in environmental studies, graduating in the year 2000. The field that I'm best known for, the work within industrial ecology, is thinking about companies that are connected to one another so that one company's waste because comes another company's food. And that's taken the name industrial symbiosis. And industrial symbiosis links companies of all different sorts in a way that they minimize their waste, they maximize their revenues. Marion really is the founder and driving force behind the industrial symbiosis. She's had almost 20,000 downloads of her articles, 5,000 citations, and so it's really an incredible impact that stands both in academia but also in practice. And so I think that has really led to the tremendous success, industrial symbiosis. So you go to China, you go to India, you go to the UK, you go to parts in, in the US, and companies are practicing industrial symbiosis. When you think about where the field was 20 years ago, it was completely non-existent. Yet here she was, a practitioner who was bringing what she had learned in the business world into the classroom and teaching all of us students about the important role of industrial symbiosis. I think Marion's teaching has had an incredible impact on the world. You have these legions of young people who are going out into the world just doing really innovative things that address business, the environment, society more broadly, and thinking about how we can develop solutions to some of the environmental challenges that we're facing. Beginning in 1995, Professor Chertow worked with colleagues to study the history and future of environmental policy under the auspices of the Yale Center for Environmental Policy. Her work resulted in the first of three published books, as well as her formative work establishing the International Society for Industrial Ecology, where she served as president from 2013 to 2014. 
and that gave me even a better sense of how we could go to other parts of the world we hadn't been as involved with. I specifically worked on Africa and South America. Just being able to open those up and solidify the position of our students. In 2004, Dr. Marianne Chertow created the annual Industrial Symbiosis Research Symposium, which continues to this day. That has been really important for getting the field to, to move ahead and really for these ideas to be, become widely adopted in different parts of the world. Professor Chertow continues to teach at Yale University and to lecture and conduct research with companies both in Connecticut and abroad. Dr. Chertow has received many honors over the course of her career. In 2015, she was selected by the EPA to represent the U.S. at the initiation of the G7 Alliance for Resource Efficiency Meetings. And in 2019, Dr. Chertow was awarded the Society Prize, a Lifetime Achievement Award by the International Society for Industrial Ecology. I love the work that I do. For me, it goes back to the themes in my life. It's creating community, it's politics for sure. It's really trying to get to an end goal that means a lot to a lot of people. If we get it right, then children can breathe without worrying. We can swim in a lake without thinking that we're gonna get chemicals all over us. Not only doing the right science, but also by building the communities is where I wanna be.